This was the commercial that I and my colleague Aris made for the first time, and honestly, you can tell. In this video, I want to share with you the making of this product Specad that led us to win a competition and earn a cash prize of 1000 euro on equipment by Godox and also attract new clients from nowhere. But first of all, if you are watching this video for the first time, then welcome or Yasu as we are saying in Greece. My name is Chris and I'm a digital marketer, photographer and recently a content creator from Greece. Give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned with my latest content. So first of all, let's start with the reasons behind making our first product commercial. Basically speaking, a spec ad is an advertisement that you have filmed yourself but that has not been commercially published. You were not hired by a company to film the ad, you were not part of the marketing campaign and neither you have any affiliation with the company. The primary reason behind making a spec ad is to add a great piece of work into your portfolio and showcase it to prospective clients. This was the main reason behind our first commercial tool. Also, we would like to explore whether these kind of product videos and shots are something that we liked and if we were interested in evolving into more related commercial videography and photography. Mission accomplished, I can tell you that the whole project was something really resourceful as we learned many new things and also it was so, so funny. As we are based in Greece and we are familiar with Greek drinks and beverages, we decided to make a product commercial for a Greek brand, Miloklefthis. Miloklefthis is a popular alcoholic drink in Greece that is made from apples, cedar, with 4.5% alcohol and a sweet, unexpectedly refreshing taste. This is why most people consume Miloklefthis during the hottest days of summer. The most important factor on the selection was that Miloklefthis has a creative and unique brand character. The brand's main character is a fox called Miloklefthis, which in Greek means apple thief. With that in mind, we immediately knew that apples and a fox would have a key role in our spot. But there was still one element missing, the fox. Well, maybe not, so stick until the end of this video to see how we included a fox tail into our video. Our main camera was the Sony A7 Mark III along with the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8. For the regular shots we shot at 24fps and 120fps for our slow motion shots. We always shot in S-Log with Sony's picture profile PP7. The PP7 preset combines S-Gamut and S-Log2. This picture profile is intended for subsequent color grading and has a gamma broad enough for remove production. To make it easier to check S-Log video on our screen as we shoot, we used S-Log 2 Gamma Display Assist and in this way the display will look as if you were not shooting in S-Log. To light our scene we use our Godox light equipment. As our key light, we use the Godox VL150 from top to bottom, but seemed to be an overkill because we only used the 1% of its capability. Also, we didn't use any soft boxes or diffusers. The VL150 from Godox is a lightweight and compact LED light source, suitable for portrait, still life and location photography, and also for video-based applications. This light has a CRA rating of 96, producing highly accurate color editions and rendering extremely realistic flesh tones. For the scene of our spec ad, we want it to be dark and moody, so for our background we use a black textile which we hung it on a stand and brought it to the front of our table. To take a very black background, we made sure to keep our object as far away from our black textile. If your object is too close to your black background and your light sheds light on it, then you could see the blacks being grey. On the table we placed our drink and next to it our second light, the Godox M1 RGB light. This pocket sized light allows you to adjust hue and saturation from 360 colors when in RGB mode and the color temperature is adjustable from 2500 to 8500 Kelvin. We choose a red color and on the opposite side we place the mirror to reflect this source of light and set light on our shadows at the right half of our object. 
We started our first shots with a few pans, right and left, with our camera on a slide. But soon we realized that we could get a better shot if we keep our camera steady and give motion to our object. At first we hold the drink in our hands and rotate it right and left, but soon we also noticed that this was the stupidest idea that we had ever done. And then we tried to DIY engineer a self-rotated system to give the motion we wanted. And finally we found out the way. We hung the drink to a C stand with a fishing line which we could remove it on the post. A very cool idea that we had was to give a fresh and refreshing look to our drink. We spray our bottle with a mix of water and glycerin which we purchased from a drugstore at a very cheap price and voila! Keep in mind that glycerin is too thickened so make sure to mix it with the right proportion of water. Glycerin is also used in fog machines and guess what? We always wanted to buy one. We use the fog machine to get a sweet haze on the environment. This fox haze along with the right way of setting light on it gave us this interesting dark mood tone in our shots. Keep in mind also to not overuse it because you will face this. We recommend keeping these haze shots for the end especially if you are shooting in a small place like ours. I'm not sure if glycerin is bad for our health but definitely if you overuse it you will struggle to breathe. We look like this is based on apples so we wanted to shoot apples. We didn't like the way just a few apples stood, so we cut an apple into slices and then stick a toothpick on it, which we removed it on the post. And finally rotated to shoot this beautiful pattern of rotating apple slices. Thanks to Sony's A7 great autofocus system, we managed to capture a very focused rotation, but it was a bit difficult, especially if you can't hold your hands very steady. You can always try the manual focus mode, actually what the heck we didn't use that. I really don't know, but anyway, be patient and take as many shots that you can. Another key thing to remember is the water shots on the fish tank. Oh, this fish tank was too dirty. Look how dirty it looks now and imagine that we cleaned it as better we could. Although the dirtiness, the shots tend to be pretty good actually. We threw a few apples and the drink on it also trying to capture the water bubbles in slow motion as you see right now. And at last the serving shots. We started throwing ice cubes on a very simple glass, unfortunately we didn't find any further interesting glasses, but we managed to add Milocleft's logo on it and save the shot on the post while we also removed some glass scratches from it. A very interesting tip that we followed was to place the glass and the ice cubes on the mirror to take these great looking ice cubes reflections. And finally the closing shot with fox tail. While we were sitting in the room and thinking of a few different ways of shooting the closing shots, Aris cat Harris came across and then Aris had the greatest idea ever. Harris hair color was similar to that of a fox and in a matter of minutes Aris grabbed his cat and brought him on the scene. The cat was quite cooperative for a few minutes and these shots were so funny. <laughs> Unexpectedly, the cat's tail touched one of the bottles and slightly one of them rotated. We liked a lot this shot and we used it as a great transition to our last rotated bottle shot that was revealing the brand. Harris, if you are watching this video right now, you did a very good job. Thumbs up! As most of the time we are doing, we started with our music. We are using audio for all of our music and sound effects, especially YouTube videos and client work that is published on the internet. In this way, we are worry free for any commercial and license issues that may come up later. Audio offers thousands of high quality songs by licensed artists. New music is added daily and the license covers any video platform in the universe. In the description below you will find audio's link to check it if you are interested in. In our video, the sound effects were a crucial part of the final result. Let's hear our video with sound effects only. Wow, imagine how this video gonna look without any sound effects. And finally, the editing. Aris undertook this heaviest and time-consuming work on the planet. We are using solely DaVinci Resolve which combines editing, color correction, visual effects, motion graphics and audio post-production 
all in one software tool. To be honest, apart from the color grading part that runs on nodes and takes time to understand how it works, the rest part of the editing and the composing is pretty straightforward. The greatest thing about DaVinci Resolve is that it comes with the best free version that offers everything. And that's not a lie. So one of the first things Aris had to do was to remove the fishing lines from the bottle, the toothpick from the apple pieces and make this apple pattern. As I mentioned in the first part of this video, the main goal of this commercial video was to create a master content piece that we could showcase to potential clients as portfolio work and ultimately help us gain more clients. Do we succeed on that or not? Definitely yes. With this video, we created a buzz around our team's name and we were established as a commercial photography and videography team. It also helped us gain more exposure while we received many work inquiries from brands not only in the food and drinks industry, but in the automotive, fashion and sports industries. Also, we posted the video in a contest organized by Godox Photo Equipment on Instagram and guess what? We won the second prize and they sent us an extra VL150 as also a kit of two TL60 RGB lights. This prize costs approximately 1000 euros. This is insane if you think that we invested no more than 15 hours in this project, both shooting and editing. And of course, we send our video to Milo Kleftis and propose a collaboration, but we received a big thank you and we compromised with a simple share of our video on their official Instagram page. And that was it. I hope you liked this first one backstage of how we film a product commercial at home. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe to this channel, it really helps me a lot. So let's end this video by watching the spec ad for one last time. See you.